Hey everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. Recently, I've seen a surge of videos made on these things, the Tiny Arcade. My friend uh, Stuart over on the Ashens channel, he's also done a video uh, on this as well. In today's video, I'm gonna be having a look at it myself and I'm also gonna mod it so that it can play all the different variants of games. Before we get into this video, I want to show you this app called Snups. I'm sure by now quite a lot of you have probably already heard of this app. I've gone ahead and set up an account of mine um, under the name The Retro Future. There's also a group as well called The Retro Future. And this is where I've uploaded pictures of almost all of my consoles. So you can go on there and have a look. Uh, it's a really, really cool app. There's, there's plenty of groups on there, honestly. You can just search for things like Game Boy um, and click on items, and then you can see a load of people's collections of Game Boys and stuff. It's really, really cool. There's also groups as well, as I mentioned. Um, I've got my own group, um, which I definitely recommend you guys join. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and have a look at the, the group called the Game Boy Club, and then look at what people are posting in there. Uh, it's a really, really cool app, um, and thank you very much to Snups for sponsoring this video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this um, app. Definitely go over there and follow me and I'll be uploading regularly um, new additions to my collection. So before we get into modding it, let's actually have a look at the, uh, the unit itself. Um, so it claims to be the world's smallest, um, which either is the name of the company, they seem to have trademarked uh, world's smallest. So that's, I um, don't know how they got around that. It's apparently an official licensed product. Um, there's quite a lot of stuff going on on the bottom but we're not really too interested in any of that. So there's four different types of this console, I believe. There's, um, well not console, this arcade, sorry. There is a Pac-Man, a Miss Pac-Man, a Galaxian or Galaxian or something, and uh, of course, Space Invaders. So four very popular ones. Um, I would have liked to have seen like arcade defense or something. Has a really, really nice weight to it. It doesn't feel like it's um, low quality at all. The graphics look like they're uh, really nice printed on very nicely. Uh, little legs at the bottom, potentially that's the speaker. Um, and then there's an on and off switch on the back, a battery compartment, and that's pretty much your lot. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, oh, it might actually already be on. And we've just got yourself a little tiny game of uh, Space Invaders. It looks pretty good. The uh, screen quality isn't terrible. The um, the word score up at the top there is a little bit hard to see, but other than that, it's um, pretty decent. I'd like to see the Pac-Man one, um, but I thought this well, this one looked the coolest. It's still even got a little um, LED behind the uh, Space Invaders sign, which is really, really cool, the marquee, sorry. So that's really, really dinky. I like that a lot. The joystick works really, really well. It's really effective considering how small it is, um, and uh, the buttons are quite nice as well, they press press well. It looks absolutely fantastic though, which I think is probably one of my favorite um, things about this thing. You can, just, you can just imagine that being on a shelf. But what we're gonna do is mod it because I'm never satisfied with anything as it comes. Now this is gonna involve some soldering, um, which if you're not overly familiar with, it's not very difficult. Um, I'm not very good at it, as a lot of you have pointed out, but I can do enough of it that I can get the job done. So it runs off three triple A's as well, which is a a point worth mentioning, it's not using any awkward little button cells or anything, it's something that you'll have at home. So we'll chuck those to one side and then just get into the screws down here. Hopefully this isn't gonna to be too difficult to do. Um, if it is, then uh, I'll definitely let you know my experience as I go along. But I'm not sure yet, it's just gonna be a case of um, trying it out and seeing what it's like for myself. I'm also going to be doing this kind of unscripted as well. Um, I haven't obviously done this before, and I'm going to be doing this a slightly different way to ways that I've seen other people doing it as well. So, um, okay, so there we go. It comes off just like that. So what you're looking at here is the main board, and if I just move some of these wires away, you'll be able to see um, A, B, C, and D listed just here. Now, there's a tiny little... Um, resistor kind of jumper just in here. And essentially that's just acting as a wire. So if I soldered two wires here, if I remove this 
and soldered two wires um, either side and just add a little switch. When I turn that switch on, it will uh, choose game A. So I don't actually have a four-way um, little dip switch, but I do have this little three-way one and it's basically gonna work the exact same in principle. Um, I'm just gonna work out uh, which games I want and then just solder there that on there. I'm not really too fussed about um, Miss Pac-Man, I don't think. So let's go ahead and uh, just get started and then I'll talk about what I did um, afterwards. So the first thing to do was to remove the wires that were connected to the battery contacts. I then took off the keyring. I decided that it was probably best that I put the little dip switches in this hole as it's kind of already indented so it'll look less like just some switch shoved onto the side. Plus there isn't a lot of room on the inside to actually add those switches. I just uh, rounded off the edges with the soldering iron. Obviously make sure you clean up the soldering iron again after that. Lined up where I wanted the switches and then it was time to remove the resistor on the inside um, and add the wires. You need to be really, really careful when doing this. As you can see, I scratched the uh, silk screen there, but it was fine. Be sure to tin up the wires. It'll just make the whole process a lot easier as well. Uh, the wires need to be quite long. These actually turned out to be too small. Tin up the legs, of course, as well, just to make sure that everything basically just taps together when you add a bit of heat to it. And then you can just go ahead and solder the wires in. I would suggest if you're gonna be doing all four of these that you work from the bottom um, all the way up. I might need to just adjust the camera slightly because that is terrible. Um, soldering the six wires onto the bottom of this was quite difficult. I'd recommend maybe getting those little grip things that hold them together. But other than that, it's pretty much uh, ready to go. So it looks like a little bit of a mess at the moment, but I've got the uh, switch um, hooked up. I've cut a sufficient hole for the, um, the little switches to be accessed. I thought what we'd do now is test it. So I haven't actually tested this yet, so there's a big pot potential here that this isn't gonna work. So I've got everything set to off. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Nothing, so it's checking, it's just checking uh, the RAM and everything is in engaged. So if I now switch the one lever on and turn it on again, it loads Space Invaders. Okay, this is bloody exciting. So if I turn it off and turn that one off and then turn two on, like so, and press on again, it's out of focus, but it loads Galaxian. Hey, hey. This is looking like it's working, boys and girls. And then the last thing to do is to test the third switch. It's a shame that I didn't have a four-way switch here, but oh well, this will have to do. And test this one, please be Pac-Man, not Miss Pac-Man. And it is Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> but oh well, that's still fine with me. Hell yeah, I'm super excited about that. Okay, so the final thing then just to do is to mount it all up inside the, uh, the actual housing itself. All right, and just like that, it's all back together and working absolutely perfectly. So this is pretty much it at its stock state. This is how it was when we turned it on beforehand, um, playing Space Invaders with no problem at all. Everything works absolutely fine. The screen, as I mentioned before, is is really, really nice quality for, um, for how inexpensive this thing was, 18 pounds. Um, and I'm sure you could probably get it a lot cheaper than that. I had to buy it locally in a shop. So when you're ready to play the next game, you just go ahead and swipe it up with your thumbnail or whatever. I've got really big hands, so that looked way more difficult than it actually is. And now we have Galaxian. So push start button, there we go. Oops. <laughs> There is a little bit of uh, 
slow down once a lot of things start happening on the screen, but it's not too bad. It's a really nice bright screen as well. It's a little bit difficult for you to see that because I've got two big lights blaring in, but and then the last one, Miss Pac-Man, and had you had a uh, had I had a four-way um, dip switch, I would have been able to have shown um, the regular Pac-Man, but um, unfortunately I didn't. So here we go. Works absolutely flawlessly. Really, really happy with how this little mod turned out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. It's certainly something a little bit different on the channel, but I thought this thing was uh, really, really cool. And it's crazy how easy it is to mod it. Um, I would have loved to have had the little dip switches on the side, but unfortunately because of the uh, the big speaker at the bottom, um, that wasn't something I was able to do. So I settled for it being up here, but it's not too bad. It's not quite as easily accessible as um, I would have hoped. But if you have a, um, I've seen a lot of people using like four way, um, kind of switches like the DMG size. So that's definitely something you could look into as well. Um, if you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.